Hey guys, so uh, this is Hiram's Boot CD, uh, not actually a CD anymore, just an old name, but um, this is the website for it. Uh, to download it, you should go to the download uh, link up top, and you'll click on this right here, and then you'll download the file. I've already got it downloaded, but I'll include this link in the description. Um, so, what you'll have to do is you'll either have to burn it or to a disk, or you'll have to create a bootable flash drive. And if you're going to use a bootable flash drive, um, I use Rufus to do that. Um, you select your flash drive, you select the disk image, the Pyron's Boot CD image, and then you just hit start and it'll create a bootable flash drive for you. Um, since I'm doing getting a VM, a virtual machine, I've already got it uh, set up in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit start so we can power up our virtual machine. And I need to get to the boot menu. Which I don't think I got it in time. I think I missed it. Yeah, I missed it. That's no problem. So what... I can say this, when you're booting your computer to get to your boot menu, sometimes it's a, the, on your keyboard you're going to hit escape, sometimes it's F2, sometimes it's F10, F9, sometimes it's F12 or the delete key, um, whatever your computer is, it's going to be different, uh, so all we're going to do is restart the machine, and as it's restarting, I'm going to tap my escape key and we have our boot menu here so we're going to go boot cd-rom because again it's a virtual drive alright so this is the environment as you show it can give you networking options so you can get online um, gives you a browser and other stuff we're not going through a th deep dive into hirons but what we are doing is we're going to go to hard disk tools and we're going to go right down here to imaging and you can see a Cronus, Aomi, these two I'm very familiar with the, this one, the Laysoft disk imaging clone, I'm not familiar with that one Marconi, Mar Markium, Markrum, however you want to say that, Reflect, I know that one and Runtime Drive Image XML, I have not used that one um, but you can use any of these to clone your system. What we're going to actually do is I'm going to come down here to Partition Tools. And you can see that it's got Aomi, Disgenius, AZUS, and it's got that Marquet, uh program as well. I'm going to show you how to do this with EZUS real quick. So now we've got this open. All you've got to do here is we're going to select this disk. Disk zero is usually your main disk, your main SSD, your main hard drive. And then this down here is our uh, unformatted drive, our new drive that we're wanting to clone to. So all we gotta do is hit clone. The source is gonna be disk zero. We're gonna hit next. Target disk, disk one. Next. It's showing the layout. You can hit proceed. And now it's gonna run through its steps. And that's as easy as it is. That's that's all there is to it. It'll run through these steps. And we'll be right back. Alright. 
Okay. Operation is completed. And all operations are successful. And now you can see these are the same. It even changed this from MBR to GPT. It changed the file system. So it's an exact clone. It just changed the size because this one was slightly uh, uh, different sizes. This one, you know, it, where it doesn't matter, like the 0 0.2, 0 0.3 something megs. That's why you see the little differences in the numbers. But that's it. And now all you would have to do is you could take this out, put it in your system, take that one out, and or how, whatever you want to do. This could be your backup, um, whatever you need the clone for. But that's as, that's, all right. Now I'm going to show you, like with the Cronus, if you wanted to do it. You would go to Tools and Utilities, and you'd hit Clone Disk, and you'd go through the same prompts. You'd select your source, you'd select the destination, just like we did with the other program. Um, and it's the same. It's the same basically with all of them. Um, they all work basically the same way. Uh, I like the Ease US one. I I just I use it. I've done it before. Um, with Aomi, you go to clone. You go to disk clone. You go to clone. Go to disk clone. And then select the disk that you want to clone. You want to clone this one next. Then you select your destination disk next. Overwritten because we've already we've already cloned it using the other program, but that's that's the way you use Hirons to uh, to clone your disk. I hope that helps. See y'all next time.